shout out to sponsor the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fellow One Boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right. Apparently, Rick Ross comes to Cardi B Rescue in the wake of her um, saying that she drugged men and, um, you know, set them up, rob them, and let a tranny do them in while she drugged them. Let's talk about it. We back. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. Promo code goodfella one box and get you 18% off their all-natural products from lotion soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Head over there, get the opportunity website, promo code our inscription. And he's standing up for um, Cardi B. Um, he basically says that you can't really judge your bar past. Now she's trying to do better. Said if you stole a car in the, in, in the past, that really don't pretty much define your future. And, um, you know, Rick Ross is showing a good faith. And maybe um, and that sign of good faith that, you know, um, women can can actually, you know, go back to to protecting us as black men. But it probably won't work that way. But, you know, I'm not going out of my way to protect to, to, to vouch for none of these dudes out here if, if I'm any entertainer. You know what I'm saying? Because had had Rick Ross had been doing this when he said, you know, put Molly all in her, whatever it was, all in her champagne, she ain't even know it. You know, Cardi B would probably be out here uh, going upside Rick Ross' head, hoeing him. So oh, he's a rapist and, and all of this and that. She wouldn't have showed him support. All right. But this is Ross trying to, you know, support her and say that's come with the lifestyle. We all know that come with the lifestyle. That guys that's out there tricking and. And they pay for prostitution. They pay for these strippers. These strippers set them up. They take L's or they catch up back up with them. A lot of different guys been through that situation. I've never been through it, man. But like I said before, he providing her protection. He providing her some type of soft landing. But what she had provided him that, all we continue to see are, you know, our black men being lynched and women sitting there digging them, digging them a grave. So the man could throw him right in that grave and put the put the dirt all over it. She's the one that said Jesse Smollett had messed up Black History Month with what he did. You know what I'm saying? He got home scot-free, judging him before the facts come out. You know, these women are quick as fuck to judge us. They quick as fuck to go out there and say, oh, you know, Michael Jackson did this. And, you know, the FBI did extensive investigation on his whole career. You know, they quick as hell to go out there. And, and and do this and that, and they turn around and say, well, you guys supported R. Kelly. No, a woman bailed R. Kelly out. Over the years, a lot of women were were, were, were bailed, was, was, was uh, protecting R. Kelly. It wasn't us, you know, but Rick Ross stepped up and did this. Will he regret it? I don't know. But he dealt with something like that when he said, I put Molly on You Ain't Know It, that Rocco song, You Ain't Even Know It. I put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't even know it. He dealt with some backlash and loss. Some sponsorships, I think, of Reebok and stuff of that nature. But is Cardi B gonna lose any scar uh uh any um sponsorships or nothing like that? No, she's gonna get more sponsorships. You know? And if I'm Rick Ross, I'm not vouching for none of these motherfuckers, man. You know, and for you to say the lifestyle, like nigga, you was a correctional officer. You didn't live that lifestyle. You wasn't selling O's and pounds and kilos like you said you was. No. So you're not synonymous with that lifestyle. You the last motherfucker that should be speaking on that. Or maybe you did trick a little bit with some strippers and some strippers got you. He's a big trick if you listen to it to his music. And I don't have no problem with Rick Ross. Because there's plenty of other rappers that done the same thing he did. He just 21 Savage. A lot of these dudes bought their image. He built his image based off somebody else telling him when he was a correctional officer what they did in the streets and what they live in. He took their life and turned into a, a persona. Named himself after uh, Freeway Rick Ross and, and got on, man. But, you know, you know, she don't need no protection. She going to be all right regardless. She got no protection from the women. But here come Rick Ross playing Captain save ho You know, the same Captain save ho E-40 told you to look out for. Like I said, man, these industry niggas don't be, don't be thorough, man. A lot of them niggas is, 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 is not from the streets. A lot of these niggas wasn't in the streets, man. And, and he, he rapping about something that he ain't even in the streets for. You know, did any women come out here and defend Rick Ross when he said put Molly in their champagne? No. Put that same energy back in the game that the game gave you. You know what I'm saying? And then basically the energy that they gave you back, it wasn't no support from them. I won't even talk about it. I wouldn't vouch for none of these niggas in the game, man. It's my personal opinion. But 
Hey, like E40 say, is a, is a, will I save her? Ooh, she wanna be saved. Then you got Rick Ross, Captain Saber, oh, man. But y'all know what it is, man. Good for Sports TV. One time for the one time. Check out the sponsor of the Hill Blaze website. Promo code description, get 18% off. Let me know what you think. I'll link the article in the description. You can read exactly what the boy said. One time for the one time.